begin the makeup look, I am putting on a foundation, a drugstore foundation with a blush brush. This gives you a sheer uh, coverage that lets you build up the coverage as you go. Uh, I like the coverage because it lets some skin come through. I'm using a shade that is two shades lighter than my own skin tone. In this next part, I'm using a bright orange from the Coastal Sense palette, and I'm using a blending brush to put a sheer wash all over the eye area. I just want to put a little bit of color all over the eye, and I'm blowing it out to the sides to give it a better effect. Alright, I'm putting the lid cover now. I'm taking a eyeshadow brush. It's flat and fluffy and thick, and so I'm taking a darker orange from the same Coastal Sense palette, and I'm going to apply that on the lid in a padding motion. A padding motion is going to let you pack on more concentrated color to the actual lid. I'm putting that on the lid because we want that to be the most concentrated color on the eyelid altogether. I see a padding motion, not going to swipe it like windshield wipers, that's blending. I'm going to pat it down, giving you a more concentrated color on the actual eyelid. As you can see, I blew out the, the first color wash out, and it gives it more of a dramatic effect to the whole makeup look. This is the crease color. I'm going to take a pencil brush and this fuchsia color here from the same Coastal Sense palette, and I'm really going to concentrate on the outside crease of the eye. And so it's very important when you're doing a crease that you keep your eye open at all times to make sure you place that crease at the right point in the eye area. If you close your eye, you can you tend to put the crease a little too high, a little too low, it makes you look older, and so that's not good at all. So I'm really going to concentrate on blowing it out again, as you can see, on the outside of the eye to give it more of a dramatic feel, a little bit of messy feel, and you'll see why in a little bit. Um, just really concentrating on the outside portion of the crease. Second color, we're going to really focus on the inside of the crease. I'm using a dark wine color from the same Coastal Sense palette and the same pencil brush. Just using the same pencil brush we did the other crease color. We're going to focus on the inside of the crease, just giving it some contrast to the orange, a little bit of red, a little bit of, of uh, fuchsia, to really, to really bring out that orange color we put on the lid. Really focusing on the inside crease. Now what I don't show here is at the end of this I take the blending part of the brush and really blend through all the colors. This is our liner. We're gonna line both the waterline and the lash line. Now, if you haven't done this before, you might want to do this a couple of times with the waterline. It's a little scary at the first time, but after a while you get used to it. This is just a basic drugstore black eyeliner. This is not a fancy thing. And um, I also, I'd want to line the inner, the waterline and I line the lash line and I also line a little bit at the top, at the lash line, the top lash line. To add a little more drama, I take the pencil brush, the same one I used the crease color with, and I'm going to go in and I'm going to smudge the liner. This hides any imperfections that you may have, might have with liner. If you're not perfect with liner, this will hide it. This also brings a little more drama to the look, a little more messiness. Uh, Clockwork Orange is all about messy and out of, out of control, so I think this adds a little more of the drama to this look. Contour, this is a contour brush I'm going to use. I'm going to take this contour brush and I'm going to put it into another Coastal Sense palette. Uh, it's more of a coral color, coral orangey color. I'm really going to contour my cheeks and my temple and the top of my forehead. Now I'm going to start off with a sheer coat of this and I'm going to work up to the right intensity that I'm looking for. I'm really going to focus, I'm going to start at the top of my cheekbone, go all the way down to my mouth. And then I'm going to work it into the hairline and up into the temple and up and over to the forehead. For 
our second color, we're going to use the, a fuchsia, almost the same we used in the crease. Once again, using a different blush brush this time, using a completely different brush. I'm going to put on a sheer application of this. I'm really going to just add in a little bit of a little bit of a punch of color, places I think that would really make a difference in this makeup look. I'm not going to put a whole different coat of contour on. Just adding color to places I think could use it, and making this one cohesive look and blending it in with the eyes and up into the forehead for a nice, cohesive, colorful look. So I thought I'd like bring this look down to the nose. I'm taking the eyeshadow brush, the one I use for the lid, and the same color with the lid, and I'm bringing it just down to the top of the nose and to the just to the mid of the nose. Not going all the way down, just starting at the top and going down to the middle of the nose. This brings the whole color down the face and brings the look a little bit down, further down. Now I'm blending it in with the eye color look, the eye color, to make everything cohesive, streamlined. I'm going to go back in with the pencil brush pretty soon. I'm going to put in that fuchsia color just to add in the same pops of color that I added into the contour that I added into the crease. And really focusing on blending the nose contour with the eyes. Really blending that and making that one complete look. the mascara. What I do here is I put one coat of mascara and I curl and then I put another coat of mascara. Putting the coat of mascara helps the eyes to stay curled and then the second coat really locks it and seals it in. I'm also putting mascara on the bottom lashes. If you don't have bottom lashes, if you're not really thick, mine are really thick, but if yours aren't, I wouldn't uh, emphasize the thin lashes at the bottom. You can also add false lashes. I didn't have any. I thought it was too much trouble for this look. I have long enough eyelashes as it is, so I thought just a little bit of mascara, a little bit of curl would solve it. If you are going to use false eyelashes, you want to put those first, then apply mascara, then curl, then apply mascara again, and then line the eye to hide the lash, the false lash line. for the lips I'm taking a nude color by makeup forever I'm just gonna slap that on the lips not really caring where it goes not really looking for shape just to give myself a nice base in my lips and to hide some of my natural uh, dark lip color putting in uh, a Ben Nye Black and I'm using a pencil brush and I'm really going to focus on right now sketching out where I want the black to be or the black to end on my lips. Really focusing on the right side right now to kind of make this a symmetrical look. You'll, you'll see the final product later and why I just put it on the right side. This will, really make, will make it symmetrical once I add the eyepiece in. Okay, now for uh, just to line the lips, I'm using the same black eyeliner I used on my eyes, just lining it out, making the seams better, and now I'm starting to blend, using the pencil, blending it into the black lipstick itself. Okay, 
the final piece to the look, I printed out a Google image. It is a gear that I found online. It's kind of like a clip art kind of thing, and I'm just going to glue it using spirit gum. Super easy. Spirit gum here is really easy to the paper. It's just printer paper, and I colored it black, and it goes right on. Super easy. Easy to take off. Easy to clean. Here is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. There'll be more to come. Please subscribe and thumbs up. Leave your comments below. If you use this tutorial and during Halloween, let me know. Please subscribe for more tutorials for the Halloween season.